It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And we love doing hunting videos. Seems like you guys like watching them too. You guys really like watching them. So we thought, let's switch it up. How can we gamify this? Yes, exactly. Right? So introducing Bourbon Hunting Challenges Series. Ooh, ah, <laughs> yeah. cue the ooh, ah. That's right. So we asked our Patreon audience to give us some suggestions of some hunt-worthy whiskeys out there. We took those, printed them out, put them in our barrel. Next episode, I promise we'll have a cooler way oh. to, uh, to draw these. Is this but... a proof of concept, okay? This yeah. is the pilot. This is the pilot episode. We gotta see if it takes off before we go investing a bunch of money in it. And we yes. already have this. Gotta so. see how the ratings are. Mm -hmm. So these have all been mixed up. Mix it up. Going to reach in, grab one. This is the bottle we will be hunting. We will be hunting for. Wait for it. Uh, okay. Ah. Blend straight from the barrel. Blanton Straight from the Barrel is, obviously, the barrel-proof expression of Blanton Single Barrel. And just like every other bottle of Blanton's, it comes from Warehouse H at the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Formerly available exclusively in the UK in international duty-free shops, as of 2020, a limited amount of Straight from the Barrel began being offered in the United States. Also, as of 2020, it had a suggested retail price of $149.99. And though we expect it's gone up since then, we could not find anything in writing to confirm that. And you know, we couldn't make it too easy on ourselves, so we introduced the Wheel of Wild Cards, which is gonna give us a rule or, or some Chal type of- An extra challenge. Yeah, some type of caveat that we have to do for this particular hunt. So Sarah? Uh, let me be your Vanna. Buy at two times MSRP. Our Wheel of Wild Cards gave us an added rule that if we find the bottle for two times the suggested retail price or less, we must buy it on site. So in this case, we're counting that as $300 or less. We get to decide, sort of, use our own best judgment, suction cups. If we want to buy it or not. So say yes. we find the Blanton straight from the barrel, but it's, I don't know, let's make up a number, $600. We don't have to buy that. No, no. Now, the 2X MSRP, going by that, it would have to be less than 300, but I think it's gone up a little bit I since think then. It, I think it has to. We gotta buy it if we can find it for that. Starting right now, we have 12 hours to find a bottle of Blanton straight from the barrel. So we better get started. Come along, let's go find it. Come along, let's go. Or we won't find it. <laughs> Whoops. Our first stop was Big B Liquor, and it wasn't long after looking around that we spotted it. Blanton straight from the barrel sighted. Wow, that was easy. Short episode. Like and subscribe, everybody. See ya. Not so fast. Why are no prices on the popular bottles? And why do they have such an awesome selection? Just kidding, we all know that answer. But before we find out, let's see what else they have. Blanton's Gold, Elmer T. Lee, several of the Weller line, Stag Jr., Shanks, Birthday Bourbon. You want it? It's likely here. Okay, now time to rip the Band-Aid off. How much is your Blanton straight from the barrel? I have a good How much? I have a good $5.99. $5.99? Okay. That's gonna be a pass for oh, us. Oh, no. <laughs> That's gonna yeah. be a pass. It's gonna be an absolutely not. But I, I know, I think that there's some people out there, especially around here, uh, that would. <laughs> and there's Keeneland coming up around here, which is the horse races and the horse sales. So somebody will be in town and we'll will want that. Yes. Ooh, we spicy. saw we saw the Maker's Cellar Age. It's the first time we'd seen one in person. Mm -hmm. So I asked about that because it's MSRP 150. And then what about your Maker's Mark Cellar Age? Oh, it's 499. 499. That's also that's also a no. A no. Nearly three times. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one down. Uh, let's let's go to the next. Next stop was Danny Scott Liquors, a place with a reputation of having some things in the back and not on the shelf. Sorry for the incognito camera work, but we did luck out. They had a Blanton straight from the barrel in the back. So how much? $4.99. $4.99. $4.99. So we're, we're getting better. We got $100 better. Yep. Still not gonna buy though. Yeah. No bites over N here. No bites. They did have Eagle Rare for $79, which is more than we like to pay. I'm, I'm assuming you guys like to pay, but in some areas- Not the worst price I've seen around here. Yeah, yeah, in some areas you might be like, actually that's what it costs all day in, in my area. So yeah. if you need one, we know a place where you can where you can go get it. If you need it today. Yep. Coliseum Liquors was the next spot we stopped. This store is on campus, so you never know, but we found a pretty good selection here. Can we just talk about how these Thomas S. Moore bottles have stuck around for so long? These are batch one. Okay, so what do they have? Decent selection. There's a Blanton's up top, but no straight from the barrel. 
They have some Weller and E.H. Taylor small batch for way too much, and that $99 Eagle Rare makes the one we saw for $79 look a lot better. But I gotta say, their price on Evan Williams Single Barrel is better than some of the big box stores that have had it for nearly $60 lately. All right. Well, uh, no luck there. Didn't even have it. No, they had a regular Blanton's and they had some other stuff, actually some not too bad prices on like that Elijah Craig mm. Barrel Proof and Elijah McKenna. Barrel -proof. The Larceny Barrel Proof was like MSRP, I feel almost, like. Almost. Yeah, almost. Not, I mean, it was pretty close. Pretty um, close. Well, I mean, I guess we're gonna have to go somewhere else. Uh, I've got an idea. I'm really glad that we didn't pull the uh, caveat where you have to stay in town or, mm. or pick pick a town uh, because this place is technically in Nicholasville, Kentucky. But Just outside of Lexington. Yeah, we're gonna head to Happy Hour Liquors and see how we do there. Well, we're going to, while we're parked, take a little break here and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the, the shirt that you can't really yeah, see. Yeah, t shirt that uh, Sarah's wearing. At normally we're drinking from Glen Cairns, not where we're driving, obviously. obviously. Uh, but as it's getting colder, we have sweatshirts and hoodies, mm. uh, all of our glassware, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash suburbanite and become one of our members for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, opportunities to participate in those barrel picks, after the episode exclusives, and more. Event tickets. Oh, and those. And those. Very important. All right, let's, let's make the camera fall again. Okay, great. I can't wait. Oh, nope. On our way to Nicholasville, Kentucky, we stopped by this Kroger Wine and Spirits. Why? Because we were passing it. Had zero hopes of finding our bottle in here, but I just wanted to see their selection. Nice price on the Calumet 15 year, and I like how much Russell's they had. And look at this Baker's 7 year, normally $59.99 on sale for $59.99. Had a hard time passing up this deal. So nothing at Kroger, not that I expected them to have the plane straight from the barrel, but you know, you're passing a store and you want to go in that's how you find things but yeah there was not really any hope that they would ever have it nothing yet the hunt goes on finally we made it to nicholasville and on to happy hour liquor this is a cool place because they also have a bar with over 500 whiskeys and lots of picks by the pour or by the bottle we took a look around the store first to see what's what Then we looked in the front case and there it was. And this time with the price actually shown. What a concept. Looks like it's $300, which is two times retail or less if it's gone up in three years. Looks like we're getting it. Success, we success, it. we and found it. Honestly, it wasn't too much more than what it goes for, for like straight up, you know. No, RP. especially after our uh, LBS, Lexington Bourbon Society discount. We it got we got 10% off uh, from it, which made it even less. And we we're talking to him. He also offers that same discount for first responders, for teachers, for executive bourbon stewards, um, you know, military. So there's a lot of discounts that you might also, and, and they're they're blowing over there. I don't know if you can hear that. Blowing the leaves. So it's a very good chance that you might also qualify for a 10% discount. So boom. First successful episode of this. Challenge completed. Challenge completed. That was supposed to be a freeze frame. A successful pilot episode, I Sarah. Would, I would call it a success. I mean, yeah. we we met the challenges. We were able to find it. We were able to find it for less than two times the MSRP cost. Mm -hmm. Let's see what letter we got. We got an A. Uh, this is 126.6 proof. Some nice stuff. And it ended up costing us- 286. Uh, 286 after tax. Yeah, yeah. which, you know, is a, more than MSRP, but honestly, it's not that bad. It's not you know, 600. We have seen regular Blantons or, you know, any of you all who hunt Buffalo Trace stuff regularly used to going in stores and seeing it marked up three, four, yeah. five, six times or more. So I would say all in all, it was fair. Yeah, I mean, you can, you know, uh, sometimes find this online for around 250, but then you're gonna pay uh, shipping. Mm. And 
uh, usually tax on that as well. So sure. there we go. Yeah, a successful first bourbon hunt challenges edition. Did you like it? Yeah, let us know down in the comments what you thought about this. And if you have uh, any other suggestions, they might already be in our list, but you just never know. But that's where we'll leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, hunt more bourbon.